Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Is It Worth It? Today we're going to be reviewing these toggled LED light bulbs. These LED light bulbs are replacements for traditional fluorescent light bulbs. Now, one of the easiest ways as a homeowner to save a few bucks is to replace your traditional lighting with LED lighting. And that's really easy with the traditional light bulb. My wife and I actually, the first day we bought our house when we got our keys, very first day, we came in and we replaced all the incandescent bulbs with LED bulbs. But you might be wondering to yourself, is it worth doing that if you have also fluorescent bulbs? Say so you have fluorescent bulbs in the basement, in the garage, in a workshop, is it worth upgrading to LED? Well, in short, the answer is yes, but I'm gonna to get to the specific reasons why in a little bit. What I wanna do here, which is a little bit different than my other review videos, is I'm gonna to cut to the chase. And that's, I'm gonna tell you that I absolutely do recommend these toggled LED bulbs, but I recommend them really for two reasons. Number one, because I just recommend upgrading to LED, but number two, I recommend if you are gonna to upgrade to LED, to specifically upgrade to these toggled products. And there's a very specific reason for that. And that is the way the light bulbs actually work. And what I mean by that is with a traditional fluorescent bulb, it gets power from two, two ends of, of the side. So there's power being fed here and there's power being fed here. LEDs don't work that way. LEDs only get power from one end. So what happens is if you do a plug and play bulb, so let's say where you just take your fluorescent bulb out and you replace it with a regular plug and play replacement LED bulb, you're going to get a loud buzzing sound because the power that's being sent to this dead end side where the LED is not taking any power is going to result in that buzzing sound, which is really actually pretty audible. It's not a quiet buzzing sound. It's quite distracting. If you have, let's say, a retail store or even in your own basement or garage or workshop, it's a really distracting buzzing sound. So I did try the plug and play version. And as soon as I heard that buzzing sound, I returned it to the store and I decided to go ahead and go with the toggle. Now, the reason why I didn't go with toggled right away is actually pretty simple. It's the only drawback, and it's that it does require a little bit of wiring. Now, at first I was afraid. I was petrified, thinking how I could, <laughs> I'm just kidding. But I was a little nervous at, at first saying, wiring, I'm not an electrician, okay? I'm a white collar, homeowner that's just trying to save a few bucks. So when I read wiring, I got really nervous. Now, Toggle does give this set of instructions with the product, which aren't actually that good, so I will beat them up there. But what they do a tremendous job of is this little QR code down here. If you scan that, it'll actually link you to a video of how to do the install, which is a very good video. I was gonna do an installation video myself, and I thought I would just be wasting time because they did such a good job on it. Just go and watch the toggled video. In essence, what it is, and again, this is not an install video, watch that video, is you get this piece in with the kit and you're essentially tying black to black, white to white, utilizing these caps that is provided. And that connects to the one side of your bulb, whichever side you wanna, you wanna connect to it in your, in your ballast, in your lighting system. And then you take this side, again, provided in the kit that doesn't have any electric going to it, that just basically acts as a holder on the other side. So there's no power being sent over here and there's only power being sent over here. Really simple, it sounded a lot more intimidating. But once you get past that, it works really well. I installed these, went on right away, there was no sound, no buzzing, completely quiet, great light, better light than I would even say that my fluorescence had. So I was really happy with it and I really do recommend these. Now, if you're saying to yourself, but Anthony, why even switch to LED? Why not just stick with the traditional fluorescent bulb? Well, there's a few reasons. Number one is value, right? The traditional fluorescent bulb, it will cost you about $7.50 up front for this two foot bulb the toggled bulb will cost you about $14. So you are gonna pay a little bit of a premium buying the toggled up front, but it absolutely makes up for it. And how it does is this. This two foot fluorescent bulb uses 20 watts of power. 
This two foot LED bulb uses eight watts of power. So that's less than half the amount of power that the fluorescent bulb is using. Now, when you buy an electronic, like let's say a TV or even these light bulbs, you'll see a little sticker on there that'll tell you the typical cost of that product over the course of a year. And for these light bulbs, they judge it on using it every day of the year for three hours a day. Under those circumstances, this fluorescent bulb should cost you $2.41 a year to run. This LED bulb from Toggled costs you about 96 cents to run. So that's a savings of about $1.45 per year. Now, when you consider that the LED bulb costs you $6.50 more, you'll break even in about five years. But how long will they last? Well, that's another great reason to buy these LEDs because the LED bulbs are rated for 50,000 hours. 50,000 hours of light. You're probably never gonna have to replace this because 50,000 hours, let's use that same math, three hours a day, every day for a year, this bulb will last you 46 years you're probably never gonna replace it. And if you do, you might have to replace it once. So if we covered that it takes five years to break even and they last for 46 years, you have 41 years of usage where it's actually gonna be paying you back. That $1.45 of savings over 41 years is just under $60 that this bulb would, would save you. Each bulb, just under 60 bucks. $59.45 for those math quizzes that are watching them. But let's say you don't care about electric, the, the, the cost of the electric. You don't pay the electric bill. Somebody else does, right? That's, that's another department. Well, these traditional fluorescent bulbs are only rated for 10,000 hours of light, whereas these are rated for 50. So to get the same amount of, life, of light in hours, you would have to buy five of these fluorescent bulbs for just one of these LED bulbs. So it's not really $7.50, it's $37.50. Now the $14 bulb on the toggle doesn't look so bad, and either way you look at it, lifetime value or direct acquisition cost, it's gonna be better for you to buy the longer lasting LED bulb. Also importantly, the LED bulbs don't have hazardous material in them. And you might be saying, what, what, what does that mean? You know, why, do, why am I concerned about this? The traditional fluorescent bulbs, the way they work is that there's mercury in them. And the mercury is both in a gas and it's in the glass itself. I changed a number of these bulbs back when I was in college working at a retail store. And I broke a few of these bulbs while I was in college working at that retail store because they're very light glass and you, you, can, you can hear how thin it is. When you break one of these bulbs, that mercury, that the mercury that's a gas, goes off into the atmosphere and you're gonna breathe it in. Whoever's around there is gonna breathe it in. Not only that, but the mercury that's in the glass, if you don't clean it up properly, like let's say with a traditional, with a good like brush and, and a scooper, if you touch that, you're exposed to even more mercury now. The LED products, not only do they not contain any mercury or hazardous materials, they're not made of glass, they're made of plastic. So they're actually shatterproof, as, it's, as it shows you right here on the box. So even if you did drop it, you're probably not gonna break it. And even if for some reason it did break, you're not gonna be exposed to mercury or a lot of harmful chemicals. So it's definitely worth it just from your interaction with it or your employee's interaction with it. Just it's a lot safer of, of an environment. And then finally, I'll say instant on. We all have experience with use fluorescence where we'll flip the light switch and either it'll flicker a few times and then turn on, or they'll turn on on the end here, it'll be like a dark yellow, orange, and then after a few seconds it'll fully light up. You're not gonna get that with the LEDs. The LEDs light up right away. So you're gonna have that instant on technology. So I would absolutely recommend both upgrading to LED, and when you do upgrade to LED, Spend the extra few minutes doing the small amount of rewiring and upgrade to these toggles. It's gonna make you so much happier. So let's take a look at how long it takes the light, the traditional fluorescent light to turn on once I flip the switch. 
Now, to be fair, these are fairly old lights. They were here when we moved in. They haven't died yet, but uh, they, just to be fair, they are fairly old. So the switch is right here. Let's take a look at what it's like to turn it on. You can see, you can see it's kind of warming up here and now it's finally on. So what was that like three, four seconds? So that's the traditional fluorescent metal or fluorescent glass bulb. Now let's take a look at the LED bulb. Now I've got the new LED bulbs installed. You can tell because they're nice and plastic. They're not the glass fluorescents that I had before. Let's take a look at how bright and how fast they turn on. Instantly on, and you can see how much more light we have now in this room. And again, the old fluorescent bulbs were costing me 20 watts per bulb. Each of these lights is now only costing me eight watts per bulb. So less than half the amount of electricity, more light. Thank you so much for watching the video. I really appreciate it. If you have any questions, please write them down in the comment section below. If you have any comments, let me know. I, I love to address them. I try to get to everybody. If you found this video helpful, please give me a like. I really do appreciate it and it's great. Feel free to subscribe. I'm always willing to do more videos for my subscribers. Shoot me a comment. It's something you might want to see and I'll do my best to get my hands on the product and review it for you. But until next time, thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it.